Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another vlog. Where am I going, you ask? Your girl has a 40 minute drive. Four zero minute drive. Well, first, I have to go pick up the girls. Then, I have to go grab my little cousin because she's gonna drive with me. And then, we have a 40 minute drive to the girls' dance recital, okay? So, Come on, sir. That's fast you walk. So the girls go to dance class, as you guys know, and they're they go to a satellite site around the neighborhood that we used to live in. But the actual site is in a city about 40 minutes away. So I have to drive them 40 minutes to dance rehearsal tonight, right? Right? Then, tomorrow, I have to drive back there for the actual show, another 40 minutes, right, right? But get this, then they have two shows, one on Friday and one on Saturday. So I have to drive back there on Saturday to take them to their final show. <laughs> Y'all, I am so through. So last year was their first time doing dance. I had no idea that all of the actual Except for the weekly practices, which I guess that's most of, you know, the that's most of the bulk of it. But everything is pretty much done at their site, which is, like I said, about 40 minutes away from us. So all their rehearsals for their shows and their recitals and the actual shows and recitals, they're all done in that city. So, yeah, which is 40 minutes away. <sighs> which sucks to do that back to back to back but it is what it is I don't think the girls really love dance though so this is going to be their last year doing dance so I'm like I'll do it this one last time this is gonna be their last year doing it and then we're transitioning into other things so Morgan has softball and Mariah is gonna transition turn this air on Mariah is going to transition into gymnastics so that's what they're going to be focusing on after dance is over just those two things soccer ends next not this weekend but the weekend after it is what's today it's May 27th 28th 27th May 27th Thursday May 27th by the way so soccer ends next week and then um, we can concentrate on one extracurricular a piece. Then to top it all off, their rehearsal is an hour and a half long and parents aren't allowed inside the rehearsal. So they're like, oh, you can sit in the cafeteria area or, I don't have a mask, yes I do. They're like, you can sit in the cafeteria area. Okay, but they're like, yeah, you can sit in the cafeteria area or you can leave and come back. And I'm like, where the hell am I supposed to go when I'm 40 minutes away from home? And they're gonna be late looking at it from right now. We're definitely not getting out of the house at a good time. But anyway, that's what's going on today. It is also Memorial Day weekend. First of all, we've had amazing weather for like the past three weeks and then now it's gonna be like kind of cool this weekend I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow but I think it's supposed to be good Saturday Sunday Monday it's just supposed to be kind of cool so whatever I'll take it it is what it is um, but it's Memorial Day weekend so we get a long weekend once tomorrow ends Saturday Sunday Monday off to just chill and hang out and Mark took off on Saturday so we can go to the girls recital on Saturday so 
he'll be with us all day Saturday, which is always nice because y'all know he works on Saturday. So it's always nice when he's with us. And I think it's just going to be a good family fun filled weekend you know we don't have any big plans for the holiday so we're just gonna chill out try to get the house clean and just try to take some a little bit of time to relax you know good morning people happy friday i'm just like sitting looking in my window it is a super shitty and rainy day for lack of a better word but we're gonna have a good day today all right lots of stuff to do i told you guys yesterday that the girls have their dance recital day one of dance recitals are today so we're just getting prepared for that they're actually downstairs getting prepared for school because it's like 8 15 a.m so they're getting prepared for school and i'm getting ready to head to the gym before i start my work day today so i just wanted to check in and say hello i didn't talk to y'all last night i don't know i was like on my way there i picked everybody up and then <sighs> I don't know. I was just trying to zone out for the ride, I guess. 40 minutes isn't that far, but I just, I don't normally drive 40 minutes, like, anywhere. So, driving there and back and then having to sit there for two hours while they rehearse. I couldn't go see the rehearsal because it's a closed rehearsal. So, I'm literally just sitting crammed with other people's kids and just a bunch of people sitting in, like, the high school cafeteria that we were in. So, um, that kind of sucked, but today um, is the actual show, so I'm really excited to see what they've been working on since September. Um, they've been working on this routine since then, and the girls are really excited. You guys are going to get to see them in their little costumes and all of that, so I'm really excited and um, just ready, ready for today. Uh, on the agenda today, I just I have some editing to do. I have to cut my day short because I have to get them ready for the recital. But I have to work, and then I I also want to film a try on haul. I'm hoping I can. The weather kind of sucks, but I'm hoping I can still film my try on haul today. And it's not too bad, like it's not too cloudy or whatever, because I really want to get that knocked out because I have some clothes that I want to try on for my my video. It's Friday. Happy Friday or whenever you guys are watching this. I hope you're going to have a wonderful day. I hope you have, by the time you've seen this, I hope you had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend and a great long weekend. And I hope you rest and I hope you relax because we all need a bit of that today. I'm putting up a get it all done today and um, there's like a little bit in there. So it's a short one because literally that day that I filmed it, I like lost motivation in the middle of the day and I was like, I'm done. I'm not doing anything else. And I don't know what was going on. I just lost the motivation to finish. And so I still put up the footage, but I also put a little blurb in there just kind of talking about how I lost motivation and it's important for you to let your body rest. And y'all know I have issues doing that. Y'all know that. So um, just learning and the more I grow, the more I learn and the more I understand that I really do need to, um, sometimes just take a break and take a rest. And, um, hopefully this weekend I can get at least a couple hours of good, nice rest. That's not sleeping at night, but just a couple hours of good rest. All right. Let me get these kids to the bus stop. No idea this. It's cute if you all wear stuff like this. Okay, y'all. Uh, so here's the last so show. It's a little later in the day. Yep, we're going to our show. And it's 3.59 actually, and we are headed to the dance recital. But before we go, we have to stop and grab something to eat. So I have Morgan, I have Raya, we got Lanaya here, and we're about to stop and get something to eat. I was thinking maybe, we could stop at like, I wonder if, maybe we'll stop at like Red Lobster, cause it's right here and we can go to Red Lobster and we can get out of there by, as long as we're out of there by five, we're good. Especially since it stopped raining, it looked like the sky about to open up and get sunny. Cause it was raining like crazy today. So since it's not raining anymore, the place is only 40 minutes away and we don't have to be there till 5.45. So I'm thinking if Red Lobster can get us out in an hour, as long as there's like no wait or anything, which there shouldn't be at this time, um, you know, we should be able to get some food and then head up there. I have the girls actually wearing like big t-shirts so they're wearing my t-shirts so they don't get any food on their, their show clothes. So I'm not gonna let them, they're not gonna have no ketchup or nothing wherever we go. 
because they can't get food on their clothes. But we need to eat and they need to eat or they would be starving by the time the show is over. So we got to go grab something. I figure since we have time, we can sit down, eat a nice meal and get ready for the show. Do we all know our steps? Yeah. Raya. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Child, I don't know what Raya was doing last year, huh? <laughs> um, I was looking for you on stage last year. I don't know what Ryan was doing Nobody, last year. Nobody is watching, so I'm just gonna stand here and do nothing. And they was all watching. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> so uh, she promised me. What did you promise me? I promised her that I promised her to be very, very better next year. That she'll do well and that she knows all of her steps because she's been practicing very hard. So, y'all gonna be the judge of that. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed, okay? Mom, we'll see what Ryan does. Finger up today. Okay, well, they shouldn't be. And, and the bus. They shouldn't be doing that, and it better not have been you. And it was five, and they did it five times. As long as it wasn't you. It wasn't me. Good. Me. We just All right, let's get into this restaurant. 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 1, 2, 3, what are you doing? 4, what are you doing? Coloring. We're about to go to a show. headed out to do my morning walk I just set a goal that I wanted to I'm talking quiet because everyone's still asleep it's like 9 a.m. and I just set a goal the other day that I wanted to walk one mile a day every single day at least one mile it was today's day three so I'm headed out to do my morning walk I got my little Apple watch on my little Nike pack on and we're about to do a little walk so let's go y'all i just got back Whew, i'm tired 1.38 miles 1.39 miles my watch says i did that in 21 minutes and 35 seconds i walked probably most of it but i ran a lot of it so i did a pretty brisk walk for most of it ran a lot of it 1.39 miles which is really really good that was my first time ever like running outdoors by myself and i'm so proud of myself i did it Got it done. Today was day one of my one mile challenge that I'm not in the gym. I explained all this on Instagram. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, you should be. But I got people following along with me and doing it with me. And we're encouraging each other. So I definitely encourage you to jump in on the challenge. But um, pretty cool. That was my first time walking or running outside by myself like ever usually if i go to like i'll go to the gym or a class or something but i won't go outside by myself but that was my first time doing it and it was actually pretty cool i actually didn't mind being out there by myself so hopefully this month is a breeze day three in the books
Don't you know,